Hello everyone! Happy Wednesday Wellness and thank you so much for tuning in here at Dr. Georgie Holistic Health and Healing wherein we spread the gospel message of salvation through the Creator Model of Healthcare's Five Pillars of Wellness. And my name is Kai. I'm one of the members of the Team Love God. Also, let me introduce Cecilia and Ayn who will be with us later for the affirmation. And of course, Dr. George Saramuga. And here at Dr. George Holistic Health and Healing, we lead with love as the power of love is God. And our vision is to build a healthy, vibrant, and resilient nation. And our mission is to empower ourselves with the optimal health of our mind, body, and spirit through the Creator Model of Healthcare, Five Pillars of Wellness. And our values are humility, love, and forgiveness. So let me also share this, why employees stay. And we believe it is when they are paid well, mentored, challenged, empowered, promoted, involved, Appreciate it, trusted, valued, and when they feel loved. So what is our topic for this video? Well, we will be sharing inspirations to empower ourselves to live fully alive in mind, body, and spirit. And as always, we'll start with a prayer followed by an icebreaker and our topic discussion. So here is a quote from Oglala Lakota Holy Man. He says, every step you take should be a prayer, and if every step you take is a prayer, then you will always be walking in a sacred manner. And now, let me introduce Dr. George A. Saramiga, an osteopathic family physician, an ambassador for Christ, an active veteran, and a biblical health coach. Also, he is the author of the book, God Loves the Children, and he will share with us the sacred path and also our prayer. Yes. Well, thank you for the kind introduction, Kai and I. A beautiful job on the slide. Just all those beautiful colors. And here it was Halloween a couple days ago, and my little granddaughter was was dressed as the sun. And you know, that's why I've got this yellow shirt on, and we are the light of the world. We're going to be sharing that love, that sunshine, through these inspirations and these beautiful pictures that we put together at Team Love God. So here we go, folks. Indeed, that sacred path. God never intended medicine nor the path to salvation to be complicated or messy. And we know, keeping our eye on the prize, our eternal home is through Jesus Christ. And that's the great commandment, loving God above all, loving each other as God has loved us, and helping each other on the path. And I was blessed here a few days ago to be able to share this with 350 K through 6th graders at the North American Martyrs Catholic School in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm still energized with these beautiful children and their love for, for our Lord. And so we talked about then how to stay on that path, that sacred path, through God's model of healthcare, the creator model of healthcare. And that's through water, food, exercise, sleep, and be loving and forgiving. And so God never intended medicine to be complicated or messy. And so here we are in prayer out of Matthew 4.4. 4. But he answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Just like taking each step in prayer, each thought in prayer, each bite of food in prayer. And we'll always be walking and living and breathing and eating in a sacred manner. And Grandpa, talking to Grandson. Grandson wants to know the meaning of life. And that's to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's Billy Graham telling the world he never met a person that regretted to getting to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And so let's go ahead and start with our icebreaker. And Ayn, Ayn's going to take us through that and our gratitude affirmations. Take her away, Ayn. Thank you, Dr. George and Kai, and welcome back to our viewers. Today's inspiring Wellness Wednesday question is, what is something important a grandparent or older mentor taught you? So thank you, Ayn, for that question. And what I can only remember out of the many things that my Lola, my grandma, taught me is um, to always 
to always um, say a, a short prayer, which is Jesus help me. So my grandma became blind when I was young and I used to be the this granddaughter who brings her to the to the church and like tells her that this is where you have to step and all that. So that is when she was also teaching me to, you know, always say Jesus help me. And even though back then when I was not really like surrendering my life to Jesus or really no relationship with Jesus at all. I I already um I already try doing and saying that that short prayer jesus help me like before the exams in the home um actually it's it's like an instant um prayer for me and it's also the same thing that i'm trying to teach to my daughter how about you guys and it's beautiful kai you're her eyes and able to help grandma as she was aging and there's no greater gift than doing that and those three words jesus help me and over and over, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I love you. It doesn't have to be long and elaborate. And my father will always say, things will improve as they improve. You're based on every day is a new beginning. And get up and give it your best. And then my mom, an attitude of gratitude. So with those wonderful parents that the Lord blessed me with, you know, all those quick little phrases like you said kai really help us and we can pass those on to the next generation how about you ein mine is from my grandma and my mother so the golden rule do unto others as you would like them to do to you and uh, i think it's it's stick it's stuck on me because i think a lot of our present social issues coming to light right now all boils down to how each of us treated each other in the past. I think that had we remembered to treat each other with respect regardless of social class or gender or faith, maybe we wouldn't be in this situation where we fight each other for each other's basic human rights. Well said. So now let me guide you through our gratitude affirmations. Let's begin with deep awareness of God's grace and guiding hand in our life. Whatever happened in the past has been wiped away. Any future concerns are safe in God's loving care. Slowly close your eyes, take a deep breath and envision a beam of strong radiant white light bathing the crown of your head with love and pure peaceful energy. Breathe out and feel your head and neck relaxed as the light of God's love embraces you. Continue to breathe in and feel the warmth of His love travel downward in developing your shoulders, chest, and upper back. As you breathe out, notice the tension disappearing from your shoulders. Now, the light flows through your abdomen and continues down through your legs, calves, and feet. Continue breathing in and out deeply after each affirmation. I am so happy and grateful for the life I have. I am beyond blessed that I woke up today. Many did not have this privilege. I am so grateful for all the people that I have in my life. I am so grateful for this loving, beautiful, healthy body I have that continues to get stronger every day. I am so grateful for the work I do now, for many are jobless. I am so thankful that God is working for my greater good. 
I am thankful God gave me another chance to make my life better today. Now it is time to reawaken and carry this light to others as you go about your day. Smile, breathe and love to change the world. Slowly, open your eyes greeting this new day, this perfect gift from heaven. And now, let's reinforce this with a spirit of thanksgiving using Anne Grace Taylor's list. Love is the answer, always. Vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. Your body is sacred, cherish it. Gratitude shifts everything, be thankful. Forgiveness sets you free, it really does. You cannot change others, only yourself. Little acts of kindness are never little, ever. Fun is underrated, enjoy yourself. Age is just a number, it's never too late. Life is precious, live it now. Well, wow, and that's why, folks, we spend time on an attitude of gratitude. It does work, and love is the answer always so great job Ayn. all right folks it's getting soon veterans day is just coming up very soon here so let's go ahead and honor our veterans as a light at the tip of the candle illuminating the way for the whole nation if veterans can achieve awareness transformation understanding and peace they can teach us how to make peace with ourselves and each other so we never have to use violence to resolve conflicts again that's a buddhist monk tick not Hun. Folks, our objectives, we put God first simply because Jesus did. When Jesus needed to make a big decision like picking his 12 apostles, what did he do? He went and prayed. He went and prayed all night. He put his father first. And then we lead with love. We create that culture of kindness. We are that eye in kindness. And then we find pure peace in the presence of Jesus. Talk to Jesus, my guiding light. Fourth, we are empowered to live fully alive in mind, body, spirit through the Creator Model Healthcare, Five Pillars of Wellness. And fifth, all for the glory of God. And folks, our guiding principles. God is the greatest physician. Out of Genesis 127, God created man in his, in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God, prayer is and always will be the best medicine out of John 14, 12, and 13. Truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do to glorify the Father in the Son. So we're going to do greater things in the Lord's name. That's what he's promised us. We are all responsible for our health and our choices, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. You must know your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, the spirit you have received from God. You are not your own. You have been purchased at a price. So glorify God in your body. And then all life and healing come from God. For I am the Lord who heals you out of Exodus 15, 26. Okay, folks, those five pillars of wellness. Remember, God didn't intend medicine to be complicated or messy. First, it's so important, it's in three languages. Lakota, agua is vida, Spanish, water is life, and English. Our bodies are 70% water. We should be drinking half our weight in ounces of good bottled, filtered, or spring water each and every day. And the living water, the Holy Spirit. And so, that's how powerful water is. The second pillar, food is medicine. We should be eating a plant-based diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables, rainbows and colors, but we don't have to be vegetarian. I like to eat wild game. I'm a hunter, elk, buffalo, pheasant, turkey. And so just lots of rainbows in the color to round out that diet. The third pillar, motion is a lotion. We should be moving each day, 30 minutes. And be open to meditative exercise like yoga, tai chi, qigong to help calm our mind, relax our body, and renew our spirit, which is the foundation for healing. And the fourth pillar, sleep, seven to nine hours a night. It's important to rest, reconstitute, restore our bodies. And it's not overrated. 
And if we're living all the pillars, sleep shall come natural. And we won't need medicines or substances to help us sleep. And the fifth, the most important of God's bottle of health care, the rock, the foundation, is Jesus Christ and being loving and forgiving. Imitating the life of Jesus. Okay. Okay. And so we thought now we're four months into our year-long world tour, the Salvation of Souls tour. The price of one soul, right, is priceless. So we're spreading the gospel message of salvation through health care. And so we figured we'd put together inspirations, pictures, to be empowered to live fully alive in my body, spirit. So Ayn put a wonderful presentation together like she always does. And the picture of West Point on a beautiful day. And the fall colors. And the God is the greatest artist. And the young boy speaking Truth to healing and his friends to heal, help heal one another. That's powerful. And so here we go. I'm dressed in yellow. Like I said earlier, my little granddaughter, Natalie, she was the sunshine. So we're going to be the sunshine here for, for today because we can. And we're going to outdo one another in honor, right? And here we are. The secret of being happy is accepting where you are in life and making the most out of every day. And so... We talk to the team a lot about some days are better than others, yet all days are good. Because the Lord wakes us up, He has a plan for us. And so, we're going to live for His glory. The Spirit of the Lord said, For I will fill you, and I will flow through you, and I will use you mightily in the days ahead. And that's the energy we're creating, and we believe that. And so, I believe Jesus, and so does Team Love God, I and Kai. That when he tells his apostles, when I go to the Father, you will do even greater things in my name. Out of John 14, 12. Indeed, God's medicine is free. Stay safe, be healthy, God bless. So good morning, folks. The richest wealth is our wisdom. The strongest weapon is our patience. The best security is our faith. The greatest tonic is laughter. And surprisingly, all are free. Jesus gave us the parable of the prodigal son to make this point. Never mind what you've done. It's time to come home. Let's find that last lost sheep. Because unconditional love is the greatest healer. People grow when they are loved well. If you want to help someone heal, love them without an agenda. And maybe it's just a hug and you don't have to say any words. Because by doing that, you're leading with love. Rivers never go reverse. So try to live like a river. Forget your past. Focus on your future. And always be positive. The past doesn't define you. God does. And he loves us unconditionally. Don't worry if you make waves simply by being yourself. The moon does it all the time. You know, life begins when you stop playing for the audience. Life's about finding your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. And Pablo Picasso tells us that. And so that's what we're doing with God Loves the Children. Don't let the enemy use anyone to steal your joy. Hold on to your peace in Christ so you can effectively represent him. And out of Ephesians 6:11, put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the tactics of the enemy. So let your smile change the world, not the world change your smile. And just like Ayn said so beautifully with the affirmations, smile, breathe, love to change the world. And we know those three words are going to change the world. The moment you realize that your gifts and talents align with God's plans for your life, wow, incredible things happen. Indeed, the best is yet to come. And we talk about that a lot at Dr. George Holistic Health and Healing. Pray about everything. Worry about nothing. Padre Pio says, pray, hope, and do not worry. Do not be afraid. Just believe. There's nowhere in the Bible the Lord said, asks us to be afraid or recommends us to be afraid. You know, 
And I talk to Team Love God about this all the time. I don't know all our next steps. We don't know our next steps on our journey. But we know what the next one is. And that's what we're doing right now, spreading the gospel message of salvation through health care with God loves the children. You know what, folks? Easy was never the promise. Victory was. We know God wins. We're on God's team. Team love God. The Lord Jesus said, Ask and shall be given. You seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you out of Matthew 7.7. 7. And all of this is for the glory of God. All these are, are beautiful gifts he's given us. And so, you know, folks, your diet is not only what you eat. It's what you watch, what you listen to, what you read, and the people you hang out with. So pay attention to what you feed your soul, not just your stomach. And so we always remind ourselves out of James 4.8, draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict, God's job to judge, and it's my job, our job, to love one another unconditionally. Mother Teresa says, when we judge, we leave no room for love. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. In a New York minute, right? It's just going to happen. It can change just like that. And we believe that. And be ready. Be ready for our Lord to come. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for your forgiveness. Sometimes miracles are just good people with kind hearts. My team love God colleagues. Lots of our friends and family members. And we always say, this is in Spanish, siempre se amable in English, always be kind. Kindness matters. When we think it's too late, God says, I still have a plan. We serve a powerful God, the God of endless opportunities. Spending time with your grown children is like visiting with the most beautiful and precious part of your life. And I just had the opportunity to be with my son and his wife and my granddaughter. And it was beautiful. And again, amen, amen, I say to you. You know, the Lord, when he wants you to remember things and get your attention, the best is yet to come. We believe that. We definitely believe that. Be so busy in improving yourself that you have no time to criticize others. Focus on your life's purpose and building the kingdom of God. At Team Love God, we work hard. We dream big, right? Shoot for the moon and then settle for the stars. You're, you're still a winner. And believe in yourself and, God, and what God has picked you to do, your purpose. Okay? We believe. We believe. And this is a beautiful one for daddy and daughters. Maybe they don't always see eye to eye, but always heart to heart. Love all my daughters. And that includes my daughters in Christ of the Most High, Kai and I, and the beautiful energy and the beautiful gifts they give to the world. Your, your precious daughters of the Most High, Kai and I, so love you. Never stop trying, never stop believing, never give up. Your day will come, right? The only time I'm going to give up is when I'm resting in the arms of the Lord because I've got the prize, okay? When we ask big things of God, it's a compliment. We serve a God of endless possibilities. Prayer is and always will be the best medicine. The most wonderful place to be in the world are in someone's thoughts, someone's prayers, and in someone's heart. That's beautiful. Yes, you and me, Jesus wants us all in heaven. Like the woman at the well. It wasn't the water he came for. It was for her. Just like the Lord leaves the 99 and finds the one. And that's what we're all called to do. The Salvation of Souls Tour. And that's what we're doing with God Loves the Children. If you focus on the hurt, you will continue to suffer. If you focus on the lesson, you will continue to grow. 
Time heals all. Life is a journey, and it's not a destination. So let's surround ourselves with people who make you hungry for life, touch your heart, and nourish your soul, and who lead with love. Stop fearing what could go wrong and start welcoming what could go, go right. Just flip that switch. It's as easy as that. Put that light on. Don't leave it off. God is always present. Jesus said, I am with you always out of Matthew 28, 20. Always. Lord, I commit my plans to you and trust you to guide my path. Amen. Out of Matthew 6, seek first his kingdom and righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. You can't go to step two without step one. We have to first seek his kingdom and his righteousness. And when we're there, he will add all the things that he wants in our life. You know, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. So let's choose, choose wisely. A person most useful asset is not the head full of knowledge, but a heart full of love, an ear ready to listen, and a hand willing to help others. On the path to salvation. And who did you bring? That's the greatest gift we can give one another, helping each other on the path to salvation. And the kids at North American Martyrs a few days ago, when I asked what the greatest gift was that we could give one another, they all said in big, unanimous love. And indeed, because love is God. The two things in your life you are in control over are your attitude and your effort. Indeed, God is in control. But we always talk about this, don't we, Kai and I? You can't dig a hole leaning on the shovel, right? God expects us to do our part. So let's do the push-ups for our Lord. When you see something beautiful in someone, tell them. It may take a second to say, but, but for them, it could last a lifetime. And I have a quick example of this. At Mass, I, they needed somebody to do the, re the reading a week or so ago. And so I went up and I, I did this. After Mass, there was a lady that complimented me on going up there and reading. And she said, you did a nice job. And so I, you remember that. I'm not maybe remember anything else except... That her, her kindness and that she saw something in me that was beautiful. So let's share, show, and be loved. And here's even from Team Love God, one of our devotions, right? As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. 1 Peter 4.10 And we always say all gifts are meant to be shared. And this is our last one, and this is one of the pictures that Ein chose, and it was a, a wonderful choice, Ein, that you chose this to be the start of our presentation. Because we do have that power, the authority, the mandate, the commission to help heal one another. Do we have the courage and the will? So this young boy, to his friend or brother, holding his hand, and hands on healing, I speak healing to your mind, your body, and your heart, in Jesus' name. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. How powerful is that, huh? And so that's where we need to get to. That's exactly where we need to get to. So that wraps up, folks, our positive affirmations, our inspirations to help us live fully alive in mind, body, spirit for the glory of God. Then choose them wisely. So I'm going to turn it over to, to Kai and she'll take us to the next stepped on our presentation here. So thank you so much, Dr. George, for all those powerful um, short reminders for us as we go through the battle of life. And, you know, it's like a quick reminder for me that yes, yes, it's really the perspective. It's really about the choice and all that. And I hope that these um, quotes, verses, short reminders will also empower you to choose to live fully alive in mind, body, and spirit. And if you have questions, please do 
contact us or visit our website, drgeorge.com. You can also reach us through our social media platforms. And for next week, we will have another wellness rerun of the Jesus CEO Strength of Self Mastery book study. So I hope that you will stay tuned and, you know, just follow us through our social media platform so that you will be updated of the videos that you will be sharing, when it will be, or you can follow, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we are in Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as I said, YouTube and Spotify for podcasts. And again, visit our website for more resources, free handouts, devotions. Just visit drgeorge.com. All right, so we just want to say thank you for joining us in today's um, Wednesday wellness video. And we hope that you will all have a wonderful week ahead. And the team would also want to send their gratitude. Wonderful job, team. And yes, folks, we're glad you joined us today and to live fully alive in mind, body, spirit for the glory of God. So thank you and may God bless you. Thank you, everyone, for the privilege of your time and see you again next Wednesday.